Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the MSI Vector 16 HX A13V. To see the internals of this powerful machine, you need to undo 13 Phillips head screws. Then, flip the laptop, Pry the sides of the hinge cover with a thin plastic tool and use a lever tool to pop the front of the cap. You can also open the lid which will ease the whole process. With that out of the way, you can lift away the shield from the chassis. Now it's time to pry the back with a thin plastic tool. Insert it in between the plate and the base and carefully pop the plate step by step. Turn over the laptop, open the lid, and pry the sides and the front through the base. Flip the device upside down. You can't raise the bottom panel straight upwards because the audio jack sticks out of the main board. Lift up on the left and gently slide the panel to the right side. Here we have a 90 watt hour battery. To take it out, detach the connector from the main board and undo the four Phillips head screws that keep the unit in place. The battery has enough juice for around seven hours of web browsing or six hours of video playback. Not bad given the powerful hardware and the high refresh rate display. To achieve that, you have to apply the balanced preset in the MSI Center. Also, the integrated graphics mode has to be turned on in order to use the iGPU, and the balanced mode should be selected in the BIOS in the User Scenario section. The balanced preset is also activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu. For storage, there are two M.2 slots, one for Gen 4 and one for Gen 5 SSDs. we can see two thick thermal pads below the pre-installed NVMe. The RAM zone is protected by a metal cap. It's glued to the plastic shrouds of the slots with a tiny pad, so try not to pull the metal plate too hard. According to MSI, the two SODIMs fit up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz memory in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 192 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. The Cooler Boost 5 thermal system looks impressive. It comprises two fans and three thick heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU. You get one extra heat pipe for the processor, as well as two more for the video card's VRMs and memory. The bottom pipe is connected to the chipset via foil. 
The cooling is complemented by four big heat sinks as well as two heat spreaders. The big one is on the GPU side.